Good morning, Jody Hamilton. You're above me. I don't know where I oh, am on there. Oh, you look so. like oh, you look like you're touching her in a really creepy way. Okay, good morning, oh Charlie. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> I know it's this it's this pre inaugural it's this pre inaugural tension. Am I right? Yes. Well, you're the one. You're the one who's been talking about sex juices for three days. <laughs> well, <laughs> right? listen, I've got I got a lot of stuff backed up. I got antibodies. I have all this stress from four years of Trump. It's isn't it going to feel amazing at twelve oh one tomorrow? I mean, yeah, I just. I, I, it, it it's still I I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to feel. It just seems you know this has been the longest four years of anybody's life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I yeah. was thinking back today about you know the very first time I went to a couple of his rallies and stuff, and I'm still astonished that he won. Yeah, and yeah. I'm even further astonished that a million people wanted more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I and you quoted the uh, defense officials tell the AP they fear possible inside attack at the inauguration will have natural National Guard troops vetted. And you just said, great, we're now Egypt under Sadat. Mm-hmm. I mean, just mm-hmm. what we're looking at in, in D.C., Charlie, is like, wow, thanks, Trump. This yeah, is the gr- it looks like the green zone in Baghdad. As, you know? as, we've, as we've often pointed out, the first time I ever met you face to face was at an inaugural. That's right. That's right. At, That's second right. Obama. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And I threw oh my like, a, like a javelin at, at Senator Professor Warren. Yes, yes, we all know. <laughs> but oh my God, remember how joyous that was, the Obama well, Al Franken, you know, inauguration? Al Franken was the speaker at the luncheon. Mm-hmm. I he remember that. I, I I don't know if he'd been elected yet or if they were still doing the recount or whatever they were doing. I no, remember. I have been in there by now. I went with my nephew to Obama's and it was cold as balls, but it was that's just the first so. one, right? Yeah, the first one. It was so joyous, though. It was just, you know, and, and and like I say, part of me is Jody and I were saying, Charlie, we're so pissed off that, you know, his mismanagement of this pandemic and this, you know, incitement of a riot has, you know, taken away the inauguration that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris deserve. Oh, but, I, you know, I mean, it's it's enormously disappointing, I'm sure, to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But, uh, but you know, no, we're going to be the who's. I, I mean, except for the razor wire. It's not going to be that much different than it would have been anyway. We're going to be I the mean, who's in Whoville. There would have been the nobody on the mall. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be I the mean, who's in Whoville. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas and democracy is going to come no matter what, Charlie. So we are here. here. We are here. We are here. Da, um, who, dore, da, da, oh, who, my da. goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, is, is it time for me to do Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol? We'll have no. Why I ain't blessing and knowing we're together and Razzleberry dressing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> you say uh, you tweeted the Bogart is in it up to her chin. Uh, that mm-hmm. would be uh, QAnon Veronica, not QAnon Betty. As QAnon say. Veronica, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. She's got real problems, I think. Yeah. I mean, if she's actually like, you know, doing reconnaissance for these idiots. Uh, I think she's got serious, serious problems finishing out her term. Yeah. Well, I think I yesterday mean, she yesterday she claimed that she was showing her family around the Capitol. That was her claim. Mm. I don't know if that you know I don't know if that's true or not. Well, she, but but there should be a law or record. She was of denying that, that, it, that her mother was outside the Capitol, right? Because yeah. somebody did some sort of facial thing recognition yeah. thing when yeah. one, their, her mother was the woman with the bullhorn in front of the window okay. and she's yeah. denying that now so yeah um charlie in fact one of the you said the, in a video captured by new yorker reporter pro-trump insurrection is filmed rightfully through documents left behind by lawmakers and you just said is this person in jail if not why not mm-hmm. um i mean i know they have a lot of people to get to but this new yorker footage i mean oh, it's the, just the going you know ransacking the desks in the senate chamber with nobody there to stop them yeah it's astonishing to me yeah um oh can i have the tiniest of violins sean would you like a happy story charlie Always. now that trump n- now that trump has exhausted all his options sex juices. <laughs> now i'm gonna throw some in just because you said that i know um now that he's exhausted all his options for overturning the results of the election the reality is setting in among many of his supporters that he will no longer be president after noon tomorrow Trump supporters in Florida are mourning the president's exit and vowing not to watch Joe Biden's inauguration. No. Mm. Oh, that's a terrible thing to do. They'll, re- re- they'll show him now. 
Trump supporter Florian Goldfarb says, no, I feel like I'm, no, 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 they made that yes, name up. Yes, yes. Name. I feel like I'm not in my skin. It's a horrible feeling. I don't like what they did to the president. I feel sad for America. Aww. How old is Florian? I don't know. Doesn't say. Uh, another Trump supporter said she planned to be wearing all black, shutting off my TV, <laughs> and lighting a St. Jude candle to pray for our country during Biden's inauguration. <laughs> amongst oh here's the kicker amongst uh, trump supporters there's tremendous anger at the establishment of the republican party they feel betrayed and many are leaving the party vowing not to support this party in the future yes i go I think, you've got all your life to live all your love to give you'll survive go think, hey listen i think they should take it out on the republican establishment every day i <laughs> no do question. too charlie no question mm -hmm. in my mind. if you had any self-respect go be free be free elsa's go run free <laughs> Um, yeah. Why are we but, still talking to these people? I know. I don't. I mean, I we don't. know what they're going to say. They're disappointed mm -hmm. that candidate didn't win. You know, the election. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to have to hear this now for six months. Yeah. How, how about some stories about how happy eighty-one million of us are? No kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you if know, you Charlie, talk to any of, if you talk to any of these people, it never occurs to them that Biden may simply have gotten more votes than Trump. It's always right. the election was stolen and it's because of the, the establishment. Yes. Yeah. Or, and, yeah. or how do you talk to people? Machines. Right. How do you talk to people who, who won't even accept the fact that Biden could possibly have won the election? How do you talk to people who think how do you talk to people who think Joe Biden is Eugene Debs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Joe Biden has a, a you know, a 150 year track record of being right in the middle of things, mm -hmm. right yeah. in the middle yeah. of the ideological wars. Mm -hmm. and yet, Absolutely. Here's, here's the thing about the media. Um, uh, you can call me Queen tweets. Raise your hand if you agree the media should not cover Trump's departure from D.C. Can we just not cover him at all when this is over? Oh, my God. How sick are you of him, of everything about him? Right. Well, I want to. I, I, mm -hmm. This could be a real clown show out in Andrews, though. I don't want to miss it. I mean, it's like it's like ignoring the 1776 commission report yesterday. Oh that's my God! Last, that's on Martin last, Luther on Martin Luther King Day. They're the like saying that that is the last that is the last great hilarity provided by this. I mean, unless the pardons, unless he pardons, you know, Julius Joe Jackson or somebody today. Oh my God! How about this? Yeah, what was the tweet I loved? Of course, they re they released it on MLK Day. Um, Citizens for Ethics said the Trump administration is marking Martin Luther King, King Day by putting out a report that defends the founding fathers for owning slaves and attacks the civil rights movement. This is an administration racist to the core. Someone said it was like Stephen Miller's like sophomore term paper. It was, I mean, eighth grade, I mean, ter eighth grade term paper. It literally mm -hmm. is just about sticking their finger in everybody's eye, right? Oh yeah, no, it's, 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 an the, it's, an the, it's an on the libs document. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. only thing that comes close to it in terms of being a waste of time and money is the voter fraud commission that Chris Kobach ran. ran oh, my God. Yeah. The, the 17, in case you don't know what Charlie's talking about, the 1776 commission announced by Trump four months ago in a highly partisan proclamation that went to great lengths to attack cancel culture and mobs tearing down statues, saying the left has warped, distorted, and defiled the American story with deceptions, falsehoods, and lies. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Um, and then he singled out the 1619 Project, making a little pretense his commission was to produce a culture war rebuttal to that piece. And, of course, just to give everybody a middle finger, release it on MLK Day. Yes. Um, okay. Um, Brett, uh, oh, our guys at Midas Touch tweeted, just two days until Fox starts blaming America's record high number of COVID deaths and the deficit on Joe Biden. Yep. I mean, <laughs> right? well, the deficit stuff has already started. Yeah, that's started yeah. months I ago. I mean, that's, they've got a running start on that one, luckily. It looks like the Democrats are ignoring them this time. Yeah, yes. you said he's yeah. acting. You said you said he's acting like Bernie Sanders at exactly the right time. That, that mm -hmm. yes, yeah. government is for something. Guess what? Government is for getting around this coronavirus, its arms around it, and getting us all vaccinated. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I'm so happy, Charlie. We're this. You know, oh screw you! It's up to the states mentality for the yeah. biggest pandemic we've ever experienced. Right? Yeah, that's gone now. Uh, yeah. it was announced. It was announced up here today that. Uh, Fenway Park is going to be one of the uh, vaccination sites. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, yeah. good. I intend, well, I, int I intend to get vaccinated at Fenway. My daughter oh. voted at Fenway this year. Oh, that's fun. Your daughter that's what? Fun. She voted. voted at Fenway this year. Oh, okay, very cool. Wow. You're going to put out yeah, your. You're going to put out. You're going to put out your I, Carl Yastrzemski arm. I, right? I, I, I am. Yeah, I am. I voted. I, I voted at Staples Center. Did so. you really? 
See, I, I, I yes. thought that what I, my plan would have been is to have them run all the game presentation while people voted at the arenas. Introduce yeah. everybody, you know, on the big board as they walked up to vote and stuff. I think yeah, that would have been, been cool. Yeah, yes. that would have been cool. Um, yeah, and then this, as you've been documenting for years, Ted tweeted, it usually takes a Republican president eight years to create a full economic crisis to leave for their successor to clean up. This one only took four to create an economic crisis, a health crisis, a humanitarian crisis, a social crisis, and a constitutional crisis. This is his legacy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I it really is a daunting amount of work oh, that Joe I, Biden I, and I, Kamala Harris have to do. It's an aston- it's an astonishing, I mean, it's. I think FDR is the only one. Mm-hmm. You can claim, and Lincoln, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, coming to office with this many things gone wrong. Yeah. And with so yeah. many things hanging on a razor's edge. But but in some ways, it's the same as always. They create The Republican creates a huge deficit, a huge oh, economic that, yeah. mess. Yeah. And then, no, you know, the Dick Democrats... Cheney said it. Reagan taught us that deficits don't matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. they do matter when the Democrats take yeah. over. Right. They matter yeah. a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Sally, um, best of luck to us all until tomorrow. Hey, it's going to be the, uh, long, the longest eight years of our be, lives. Are you going to be on the air? Or, no, you won't. You'll be off the air by the time. Right. We, yeah, we will be off the air just as we get to watch uh, Biden being inaugurated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Perfect you'll timing. Be the open. To, you'll, be, you'll be on the air to watch uh, Kamala h- himself That's go right. to Florida. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 We will watch. We will document that. Can he take them and all then, with him? Can he take Pompeo and, you know, yes, yes. DeVos and all those people with him and they can all live at Mar-a-Lago for the rest of their sorry lives. And we're going to have Sarah Kenzior to scare the bejesus out of us what could happen in the waning hours of the Trump yeah. presidency. <laughs> and so I'm, glad celebration. Like, I'm glad someone like Sarah's on the parapets. I really am. I know. Yeah. And that'll Same make here. the celebration even better at, uh, at and 12 the great noon thing Eastern. Is Dr. Dr. Doom gets to continue to be scary. Yeah, yeah yes. exactly. Well, uh, I know. This is like the the bad virus movie, right? We're like, oh, mutant strains. Ah! <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. Well, we've, been living for, we've, been living for, we've been living for a mutant strain of politics for four years. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. 